Hello and welcome everyone. This is Chris from England. In this lesson, I'm going to talk through and explain my first British English versus American English challenge. In order to follow this, please bring up the visual on your screen. To do that, you can click on the link at the top of the description. You should see it there on YouTube, on Facebook or anything else below the video. It's a link to my learnbritishenglish.co.uk website. It's a blue visual with a couple of paragraphs on British English versus American English challenge. What I'm going to do is read both passages first, then go through and explain each of the changes that I implemented from American English to British English. Firstly then, I hope that you can all see the visual. I'm going to read the American English passage. I apologise if it's not accurate, but I don't have perfect knowledge of American English or anything else, to be honest. In early fall, we're going on vacation to the UK. It'll be an honour to see the different colours of Britain at that time of year. We'll go to London and use the subway to visit lots of places. We'll take the highway or railroad to go travelling and see some other towns and cities. Our son wants to watch a soccer match as well. We're sure we'll meet many nice Brits. Now I'm going to go straight on and read the British English paragraph in full. In early autumn, we're going on holiday to the UK. It will be an honour to see the different colours of Britain at that time of year. We'll go to London and use the underground to visit loads of places. We'll take the motorway or railway to go travelling and see some other towns and cities. Our son wants to watch a football match as well. We're sure we'll meet many nice Britons. OK, here we go then with the explanations of each of the changes. They are the words in red that you can see on the second paragraph. The first two are vocabulary differences. Autumn, fall. It's the third season of the year between summer and winter. British call it autumn. American call it fall. Important here to call it autumn. We never say fall. Holiday or vacation. Holiday is the British term. Sometimes we use vacation though. The next two, honour and colours. These are spelling differences. In American English, some words end in O-R. In British English, the equivalents end in O-U-R. A couple more vocabulary ones in the next sentence. Underground instead of subway. And loads instead of lots. I included loads initially and an American friend advised me that they don't often use a load. So we seem to think that's a... British English one. I'm not entirely sure though. Motorway and railway. Again, slight vocabulary differences as opposed to uh, highway or railroad. Motorway or railway are the ones you need to use in Britain. Travelling, another spelling difference. Double L. In British English, we use double L on some words such as travelling. Football or soccer. This one's really important. If you like football and you're in the UK, please never say soccer. I know that Americans, they have different types of football, so they call our football soccer. But if you say soccer in the UK, people will know you're speaking in an American way. Please use football here. If you want to talk about the American type of football, then we call it exactly that, American football. Uh, one right at the end, Britons as opposed to Brits. Brits is used very often, um, so it's not important to to change this, but Brits is normally an American word. Britons is used more often by Britons. For example, the BBC will use this particular word, but I don't think that's a very important one. There we have it then. That is the full explanation of my first British English versus American English challenge. I hope that it was useful and clear. Please let me know what you think. 
I'm going to post the uh, explanation to the second challenge as the next lesson on YouTube. So please subscribe or check the channel right now to watch that. The other websites that you're welcome to use, and they're also free, are sites like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Google+. These are in the description on the YouTube page for the video. Please click on them there. And my main website is www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk. There's also some podcasts available on sites such as SoundCloud and Podomatic. That's it for this lesson then. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that it helped you learn a bit more about this British English and American English stuff. Take care for now. I will see you next time.